Hey, yeah, it's this week's comics with your boy Hartley Holmberg here, and uh, let's get right into it. First up with this week's DC Pride special. All these uh, specials DC has been put out have been a blast. I can't wait to read this. I don't know really anything about it, but I like all these characters, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I mean, you know, some people like to get all bent out of shape because... The uh, the LGBTQ community is getting a spotlight this month, considering that uh, the straight community gets a spotlight every month and every day. I think people really got to get over it and just let these guys have their moment. Next up, we got Geiger, a series I'm enjoying the hell out of by Jeff Johns and Gary Frank. Uh, they're nailing it. It's a lot of fun. It's high action in a post-apocalyptic world. Nukes have been set off. There's this Geiger dude who's sort of like a champion of the wasteland. And is his family alive or not? Who knows? But it's a really fun comic. If you like sci-fi and uh, post apocalyptic and action stuff, then, you know, you owe it to yourself to buy this. Next up, we got Ant, number 12. Now, get a load of this thing. Uh, Eric Larson brought the brought bought the 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 property ant off the creator some time ago uh the character's been sort of uh in limbo for ages and so this is the return of ant where larson wraps up the original series that i think it's it's been at least five years i think since there's been an issue of ant and uh, i'm looking forward to it i love larson and i love how he's brought back the uh, original daredevil just looking like daredevil and being daredevil i love public domain superheroes and uh, this should be a blast and uh next up rorschach oh man taylor's been really or sorry taylor tom king's been absolutely nailing this comic it's uh quite the commentary on misinformation and cultism and uh, it really relates to the world we live in right now. How easy it is for people to get sucked into abject nonsense. One of the things I love the most about this is how we, the reader, know what's going on in many cases. Because, you know, if you've been keeping up with all things Watchmen, you understand what really is going on in the world. But the characters in the comic don't. And it's really, really a fantastic comic. For anybody who's thinking of picking up this up in, in singles... I recommend um, uh, reading a bunch at once because on a monthly level, it was really tough to get into it at first. It wasn't until it was probably on issue three or four that I was fully into it. And I had to go back and reread all the issues to really get the sense of where everything was going and the momentum. Uh, oh, this is kind of a random little thing I forgot I put in here. Um, this is just a sale copy. Marvel's been selling a whole bunch of stuff. Diamond was liquidating a bunch of stuff on uh, you know their site that you could see on the retailer side of things. And so I got this because it was uh, cheap as heck. And uh, a really fun series. I don't think I ever got the collected edition of it um, by Sam Neon. I even forget who the writer of this was. But it was a really, really fun series that wasn't in continuity, but an absolute blast. If you see it in your comic stores, it's probably cheap right now. I highly recommend buying it. And then this is the Taylor I was thinking of, the Tom Taylor Batman the Detective book. That's been an absolute blast. I think this is uh, getting into the origins of Batman a little bit. One of the men who trained him on the cover there. And uh, I can't wait to read this. Uh, it's been a really fun series. Set in a kind of a slightly futuristic Batman world. Batman's a little more old and grizzled up, and it's not in continuity. It's just its own little thing. Then we got Bloodshot, the latest trade that came out today. Oh, and I'm warning you, I bought a lot this week. This one I was swinging for the fences like I had no end to the amount of money that I have. Oh, my God, credit card debt, what am I doing? Bloodshot has been such a better comic than the horrible movie by Vin Diesel would have you believe. Uh, they kind of got everything wrong about the character. This book right now by Tim Silly has been an absolute blast. I think we're on volume, yeah, book four says right there. Uh, the series started off being drawn by Brett Booth, who I love, but for whatever reason, he's a bit of a lightning rod creator. Some people just despise the guy. A lot of fun. Uh, yeah, I got nothing more to say, but uh, Tim Seeley is great, and Bloodshot's a great character. It's just too bad about that stupid movie. And then I got some really cool uh, collected editions here. This uh, fantastic, I'm a big fan of the epic volumes. You get these big, big, fat volumes uh, of, uh, that are a big chunk of uh, Marvel history. And I was a big fan, or I am a big fan of the uh, DeFalco um, Friends run of uh, the Mighty Thor. At the time, I was all grumpy about it when I was a kid. I used to bitch and moan about how they were just trying to redo the Stanley Jack Kirby era. 
And as I got older, I realized, yeah, that's what made it great. And there was something magnificent about this era that I didn't appreciate as a young man in my 20s that I absolutely adore now. So I can't wait to dig into this. Next up, we got Black Cat. This series was uh, surprisingly enjoyable. I really enjoyed it. I'm actually a volume behind right now. Uh, so I'm looking forward to getting into this once I've finished the other volume I haven't read yet. And then we got some Hellboy goodness. Uh, Hellboy and the BPRD, the first volume of this was an absolute blast. I love these Dark Horse hardcovers. I think they're absolutely beautiful. The price point's usually pretty darn solid for what you're getting. And, uh, then, oh man, like I said, I was swinging for the fences. I decided to, oh yeah, I got this, this big old bad boy. I got, went for the Spider-Gwen Omnibus. Yeah, that was a pretty penny, and I can't wait to open this thing up. I'll probably do an unwrapping of it at some point so you guys can see what the binding's like. I guarantee the binding's going to be fantastic. Well, I shouldn't guarantee because nothing in life is guaranteed, but Marvel Heart Omnibuses usually have amazing bindings, so I'm looking forward to get, digging into that a little bit. And I decided to fill some gaps. Old Man Logan. I was a fan of the series when I was reading it, and uh, was I haven't really kept up, so I decided to fill in some gaps. Volumes 1, 2, and 3. Can't wait to dig into that. And then I'm uh, wrapping up my Invincible Ultimate Collection with Volume 10 and Volume 11 there. And there you go. There's a big old giant, ridiculously meaty stack of this week's comics. And uh, thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. I feel like that should have been much longer, but it wasn't. So ciao for now.